A warm welcome to all my lovely audience on IC Tales today. Today we're going to be having conversations on traveling, exploring and learning so many different things because I have with me Mr. Lakshman, Lakshman and Krish. He's an, an adventure traveler, a thrill seeker and someone who teaches people in the most unique way possible. So hi sir, how are you and how does it feel to be here? Hi, very good morning. Thank you so much for inviting. It's such a very good day. Yes. With that being said, I think we should get started because I'm very eager to know how your journey is. So can we get started? Be good. Yes. So uh, let's just begin by getting to know each other. So I saw on your Instagram, you do so many different things. So tell us something about what mm -hmm. you do for a living. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I don't do anything much. <laughs> I just uh, eat, sleep, uh, uh, travel and teach. Right. So... I'm a foodie. I explore a lot uh, wherever there are uh, good tasty food when I hear about it and then I go all the way. Sometimes we go cycling all the way or sometimes we drive and uh, we go and explore the food. <laughs> food is one part. Yep. Sleep, uh, if I have to tell, uh, uh, if people are familiar with Tamil movies, they will say in Vadivelu will say in a movie, Summar kar devolo kashandarima. No, nothing <laughs> like that. I can be yep. just like that doing nothing. I enjoy my lone space and I enjoy my solitude. And um, I, I enjoy the laziness. In fact, uh, I tell laziness is the biggest strength the way. I enjoy that. Travel and teach, another interesting part. Uh, after 2016, by choice, uh, I started traveling a lot. Uh, if you know, I did an all India drive uh, continuously for, for India and uh, Siachin Base Camp, one of the early people who had driven to Siachin Base Camp by a car. Only huge trucks can go there. Where I drove there and paid respect to all the soldiers there. Yep. And uh, during that trip is a spark which came into my mind of why there should be four walls to a classroom. Why, why should there be a classroom with just four walls? As people started asking me, seeing my Instagram, uh, Krish, why don't you take us to those places? I told them... Uh, I'm not interested in doing a tour business, but I have learned a lot. Not yeah. just good things, even like bad, worst, ugly, everything from my business. So if you want to learn all those things, come and join me in my travel. And mm -hmm. that's how it started. I started taking people uh, to the mountains, to the forest, to the middle mm -hmm. of the ocean, showing them real life challenges. And then I started debriefing them how they can apply in their respective businesses. Right. And uh, today that has become a living uh, of uh, making people travel and learn. Yes, very, very interesting concept, I must say. Became a fan of it since day one. So, yeah, great job on that. Also, being an adventure traveler, I think there are so many risks involved. So, what do you have to say about that? Of course, uh, these are the risks which uh, is something we are taking by choice. These are not the risks uh, which um, casually happen. These are the risks. We know these risks. For example... There are two types of risk. One is uh, man-made, another one is uh, natural. Uh, yeah. Both are inevitable. Both I have faced in my All India Drive. In fact, in my first All India Drive uh, in Kashmir, I had faced the man-made issues wherein like my car was smashed by rioters and uh, we had to run for the life and all mm -hmm. those things happened. Also, natural risk uh, there can be said when you climb mountain choice yep. the probability is more here because we make it as a choice so yes there are risks but uh, one thing we need to calculate the risk we need to predict the risk and play a little paper is what I say so for example uh, recently I went for a peak and we started climbing around 11 o'clock in the night mm -hmm. and uh, we started going up and up and up and up. we are supposed to reach a particular point by six o'clock so that we reach the peak by eight o'clock okay. and then we safely return back but by the time we reach that particular spot we call it a shoulder or right. before the shoulder we reached that by eight o'clock we were two hours late okay. and all energies all your inspirations and motivations go for it right but it is not advisable to go. If I would have chosen to go up, mm -hmm. if I would have chosen to go up and uh, while return back, maybe I could have encountered an avalanche because the sun is up, fresh snow, it can break. 
So yes. we made a decision. We made a decision that we will go back. We will yes. come maybe next year. Okay. Yes. The distance would be less than a kilometer. Mm -hmm. the distance would be less than a kilometer. But the time in which we reach the is late, it can right. put us in a huge risk. Right, right. Uh, you keep your ego aside, you keep your all your pushing energy aside and make a calculative decision right. and then get back. Because mountains are not going anywhere. I can go the next year. But but we need to calculate it, we need to predict it, and then we need to take accordingly our decision. Right. So that's all about keeping the risks in mind and still doing it by choice. So yeah, great job on knowing that. Uh, also, since your work is revolving around going to places and traveling, you must be dealing with something called homesickness. I'm not sure, but if you deal with that, tell us something about it and what do you have to say about that in general? So anything we do, right, uh, beyond the point, that there can be a fatigue. There's no second thought about it. So I, I keep this balance. Uh, a lot of people ask, always you're going to the mountains, are you not bored? Uh, I always keep a balance. Uh, I enjoy both man-made luxuries and the natural luxuries. Oh. So I, I keep a balance between these two. So any given point of time, except it's a heavy, high-altitude peak climb, 15 days I'll be out of home and 15 days I'll be back home. Mm -hmm. Okay, And of course, we always wanted to come back and be with family. You want your own loan time and all those things are there. Yep. With a strike of balance, uh, that homesickness can be overcome. Mm -hmm. Balance is all you need. So thank you so much for giving your inputs on that. Uh, let's move on to our next question. I also noticed that you have trained so many students to get better at life, to deal with situations better. So what is something that you learn while doing this? One thing I learned from these students is uh, their energy will always keep you and you will never feel that you are getting old. Mm -hmm. Number one. And the second thing is, uh, the best part about training the youngsters, the students is, you get updated. Mm -hmm. A lot of things, uh, what when we studied and a lot of things, what these students study now is different in the way they look at things. The perspectives absolutely differs. Right. And uh, those are the things which a person who is a teacher needs. A teacher cannot be one like who had learned something a decades ago and try to teach people of a different century. Correct. Right. So you, you need to be intact with their vibes. So okay. that is a great learning from them. Like the more, instead of being a teacher, like uh, being a little friendly with a rope mm -hmm. uh, helps us learn a lot uh, to give them a lot. Right. So it's, it's more of learning from them to teach them. No, that's why I frame it in a way that you. I want to know what you learn from them because we definitely learn so many from teachers. So a great, great job on answering that question. Let's move on to our next question. So being a teacher and being a mentor, I'm sure you have some advice on dealing with stress. So what do you have to say about dealing with stress and how do you think we can overcome that? Okay, I would uh, say this to everybody. Know your priorities. Okay. Point number one. And point number two, it's okay to fail it's okay to let go it's okay, mm -hmm. to, fail, okay to let go be uh it's it's actually not philosophy it's, it's a very very a uh, simple logic we came with nothing we're going to go with nothing right why to hold on to something which is not in our control correct the only thing is in our control is how we tune our minds yes so I, I, I tell people, uh, set your priorities, know your priorities. Mm -hmm. it, it's okay to be with someone. It's okay not to be with someone. Mm -hmm. or it's okay to have something. It's okay not to have something. Yep. And uh, I would tell people, don't take life very, very seriously. Right. And the important advice, if it's not an advice, it's it should be the way of living. We should live. We should not just exist and survive. We should live. That's what I decided in 2016, like chasing money, having fame and all these things took a lot of toll on my mental and physical health. Right. And I'm sure you would have seen my old photographs, which I would have shown in the classrooms. And today, how I am, mm -hmm. those days I was looking looking like I was in my 50s. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's nothing wrong about being in 50s, but the amount of stress and uh, amount of obesity and all those things, it, it, it's... I invited it. It is not something because of my uh, inherent health issues. Yes. I right. invited it because of the stress. Yes. So we don't need to take things so seriously. Know your priorities. Know what you need and mm. just 
me for that that's enough that's going to make life very simple yep. the laziness part helps here because i do not complicate anything because i'm lazy i i used to tell the students i never copy in exams forget about the moral part no to copy you need to do a lot of effort you need to look at the invigilator you need to look at the paper you need to beg for the shit and all those things it takes a lot of complication why to complicate simply say do not write it no don't write it's okay there is always a supplementary yes i really like the logic don't complicate <laughs> right so thank you very much for giving your insights on stress i think not just for youngsters even the adults will have a lot of takeaways from this so yeah thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with that we've now come to our last question i'm i am pretty sure this question is very very close to your heart so what does traveling and teaching mean to you and what has it what has it brought into your life first of all uh, it made me who i am today the travel and i i tell people very openly and shamelessly if somebody would have met me 8 years back they would make their mind they don't want to meet me again <laughs> i was super aggressive i was super <laughs> aggressive mm-hmm. uh, today a lot of this calmness humbleness politeness um, very sharp thinking and okay. uh, being very very thoughtful on my decisions that okay. all these things i would say that travel got me the yeah. challenges i faced got me and uh, i would tell people just pack your bags and go it's okay don't have a plan whatever money the first all india drive we planned huge yep. and there were a lot of breakdowns me and my yep. co traveler decided let's not take much of money we'll take whatever smallest amount of money we did that 48 day trip with that though the budget was huge okay right so that is what travel teaches mm-hmm. it gives us a lot of tolerance today a lot of people say people are highly intolerant but the moment we start traveling without plans our right. tolerance level increases the moment the tolerance level increases we are all happy yeah. we, we we know what to put mm-hmm. focus on we know what not to focus on right so traveling and uh, this teaching uh, made me who i am today so i am I, that's very close to my heart and i am happy about that I'm very very happy to see that you love what you you what you do and you teach people to love what they do as well so thank you so much for that and i think the last 20 minutes we've been having this discussion it was very very knowledgeable and i got to learn so many new insights from you so thank you very much for giving us your time i hope you had a great time doing this with us absolute pleasure riban i'm so happy to see you like this you are doing a lot of stuff i'm also watching your instagram you're doing great stuff and doing even followers I Thank wish you great success. You need to come in big colors. All Thank the very best, and all the best for all watching this. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Have a great day.